Okay, welcome to this video. This is uh, Graviteam Tactics, um, new new game, uh, Myers Front, which uh, is going to be released um, in a day or so. Um, I was kindly sent a key, so I got hold of the beta version, and um, and yeah, this is it. I've only had it for an hour or so, um, and I thought I'd do a quick video just to go through uh, what the quick uh, sort of rundown through the user interface. Um, have a look in the campaign, things like that, um, and to show you what's changed so far. Not everything. I'm not going to go through everything. I haven't got time for that. This is just going to be a quick introduction video. And um, one of the first things that really is quite striking is if you go into the options section, um, it's now a lot clearer. Uh, the, the last one for me was absolutely fine. I had no problem with it whatsoever. Um, there's loads of uh, stuff in here that you can change and. Um, um, set it up to to the way you want to have it set up, and uh, yeah, uh, it's just you know you scroll with your mouse, uh, the middle mouse button, and um, you can change all the various stuff on these uh, on this grid sort of system, I suppose you could call it. Um, uh, some of this stuff I haven't even clicked on yet. There's the battle editor. Um, just click on that, I suppose. Yeah, you pick your side. You can go in there and set up some battles and what have you. Uh, but the main thing I want to look at is the campaign. Um, if we go into that. Um, I'll restart this one. This is the only one I haven't even looked onto these ones yet, but we'll have a look on this one. This is a Stepanovka Mar Maranovka. Um, I hope I've done that justice, so my uh, pronunciation of um, Russian isn't uh, that good. Okay, so if I click on this now, if anyone's seen any of my videos before, you know that I love these maps. These maps are fantastic. The guys who have made these, they they really do. Um, go into a lot of historical um, detail um, to bring us uh, these uh, amazing maps and um, and I think they're absolutely incredible so if we uh, go into the the operational mode you can already see the size uh, of, of these these uh, uh, campaigns are going to be um, a lot bigger th than anything we've seen before um, just look at the all these Russian forces here um, and these are all my guys here, the German forces, and we've got so much to play with, um, which is just uh, fantastic. I, I actually started a campaign about 20 minutes ago where I just moved a few of my troops around and then the AI spent a good sort of two or three minutes, you know, maneuvering all those troops around um, and, and doing their stuff. And then it was just great to see. And there was loads of little battles to do, loads of detail. And um, yeah, it's really good. So, so in this, uh, in this particular campaign. I'm not going to go and read all the details and what have you. We can tell what's going on here. We're basically in a defensive position um, around this village here. If I can... Yeah, we're in this... Uh, we're in Stepnovka. Uh, we're in a kind of a defensive position. We're going to be attacked. Um, there's loads going on here. So, yeah, these campaigns are going to be absolutely brilliant in this uh, in this game. Um, yeah, and... and and another thing that I really like as well is uh, during the tactical phase when you're deploying your troops and what have you, um, you, you feel like uh, it, there's a, you're a lot more involved in it than you were before, if that kind of makes sense. Uh, the, the tactical phase seems a lot more important than what it did before. Um, and, and your deployment of troops has always been important. You know, the operational map, you shouldn't really look over this. This is uh, something where you can sit here and think about um, how you're going to um, approach the battles and what have you. And it's only until recently that I started to get that. Um, and I spent a lot more time here on this operational map thinking about what I'm going to do, um, how I'm going to uh, set up my forces and all that sort of stuff. So now this bit here, uh, you know, when you right click on uh, your unit and then you, you can uh, do a bit of admin and organization in here. One thing I have noticed here is if you right click on, say, an infantry unit, you can set them, they select their strategy up in here. So you can set them up as anti-tank. I don't know what exactly that does, but I presume that they target tanks more than what they would do infantry or they would make that a priority. Um, at least that's the only thing I can sort of make out so far. Uh, manpower to say infantry squads will be preferred. Okay, so it, so it goes for infantry squads as opposed to um, and heavy infantry weapons will be preferred. I see, so, so anti-personnel and man manpower would just be sort of light infantry and anti-personnel would be um, uh, sort of machine gun squads and stuff like that and anti-tank is... Uh, pretty self-explanatory so if I just set them up as anti-tank I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment but we'll do that um, my 
commander here. If I right click on him, I suppose if I set him up as, I suppose it's a good idea to have him as mobile reinforcement support. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to make stuff up now. So I won't do that anymore. Go back to the map. And what I'll do is I'm just going to move some units around here and get this commander on top of this hill here. This guy over here. Can you hear that sound effect? That's a new sound effect, isn't it? Let's get these up here. And the battles themselves, I know um, the smoke effects and what have you were um, they were largely uh, um, put out there in, in, in the uh, in, this, in the in the first sort of screenshots and the first sort of teaser videos and what have you. But the smoke in it is, is brilliant, and it makes you think about the wind direction and what have you before you start uh, deploying your troops and what have you. So that's something to think about. Okay, I'll leave these guys protecting that uh, key point there. And there really isn't much else I'm going to do here because uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a kind of defensive position anyway. So let me just see if I've got any arm. I have not messed around with the artillery yet. And have I got any artillery? How do I tell if I've got artillery? No, I don't know. There's something to look into. That's something I'll find out later on. Okay, let's just start this. So the AI is now obviously uh, doing all their tactics and strategy and the last time I did this they were here for ages doing this so. but look at the scale of it all <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> so the campaigns are going to be huge they're going to be really good so, and there's just a lot more to think about which is great it just gives it more depth it already had depth for me it had lots of depth and, and I was only scratching the surface uh, in the previous games and videos um, but in this, you know, it's gonna, it's just gonna give me hours and hours and hours of uh, more play, which is great. So you can see they're maneuvering their guns f into forward positions, moving the infantry forward. And you can see they're using, they've got their mortars in the rear here. I mean, I'm going to get my butt kicked here, unless I can uh, unless I can hold out. But I'm getting surrounded here. This isn't good. That's not developing well. <laughs> oh dear. And I, I've got I'm in danger of getting cut off here. But if I can uh, if I can get these troops linked up with these troops, I could cut off this uh, these, this forward area here. That's already I'm just that's the only thing I can sort of think of at the moment when looking at this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so much, uh, so much more to look at. So we've obviously got a few battles here to to get through, um, and in this turn, we're going to have to resolve all these. Uh, sort of. There we go. We're ready to go now. Okay, so I've got to pick a battle, so I might as well just pick. I don't know. Shall I go with this one up here? Getting attacked by a can tanks, and oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get my butt kicked there. So what? But yeah, I'm not going to show a whole battle. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you the the user interface um, and how it's changed. Um, there's, there's there's been a lot of changes in it. But anyone who's played the game before, it will still seem quite familiar. Um, there's nothing. F frighteningly new in there one thing I really really do like oh yeah I've got um, enemy troops on here I didn't realise I had them on before I didn't bother to turn them off so I can see where they are I know that's cheaty and uh, not too uh, not in this not in the spirit of the game but you know I'm not going to be doing this battle I'm not going to be continuing this campaign or anything like that it's just uh, like, I, like I keep saying it's just a, a, an introduction to Maya's front um the colours seem a bit more vivid than what they did before. They were vivid before, but you know it seems to really stand out now, and it seems a lot more clearer. Um, one of the most obvious things is uh, down here. You've got your squad. So if you click on the commander, it opens up everything else now. And then if you right-click, um, say, let's right-click this te telephone operator, the, the, the signals guy, 
it'll take us to him, Bloom, his name is. So Mr. Bloom in the rear with the gear. We don't want him up the front. Uh, these guys with these um, trailing wires. So they, these guys are set up all the comms and connections and communications uh, with the various squads. And uh, I, I've had one of them on my back um, when I was in the British Army. I was in. Uh, I did a, a signals course in an infantry unit, and uh, uh, it was a six-week course. And, and one of the part of it only a small part of it was carrying this stuff and connecting telephone wires out in the field and it was grim these things they just get clogged up they get tangled up oh, that's a nightmare anyway that's not what we're here for all right let's click on this infantry squad here and let's go to mr evan oh panza pans panzna let's have a look at him okay they're facing that way right so let's have a look at the map the awesome, I love these maps, I really do, and I'm never going to stop saying that. These maps are fantastic. Um, we're going to get attacked from the east, and they're obviously going to try and take us uh, in this village here, so the, our best bet is to stay in this village for defensive purposes. Let's come out of that map, let's find east. So we can look at these compass now. This compass is nice and handy um, out there in the distance, so let's find east. There it is, so we're obviously going to get attacked from this direction. Oh, look, We can obviously see all the enemy troops up here because we've got the old cheat on. We've got some high ground here. Um, so let's get this infantry unit in these trees here. And get them facing that way. And then we can click on... No, I can't. I need to select a squad first. There we go. And then we click on that, which is the area of sight. And anything green is where they can see. So obviously all this is... Uh, they really haven't got very good uh, line of sight there. So if I click that off and put them out in the open, let's put Jaegel here. They have him facing that way. So he's got a little bit of green up here. He's got a bit of green up here, which he can see. He can probably see these uh, tanks now, maybe. And uh, that would probably be a pretty good spot to put him in. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, really. I'm, I'm, I'm going to quickly start the battle so I can show you uh, the right-hand side here what happens. Uh, this part here, um, it was usually here in uh, in Gravitine Tactics Operation Star. So um, they've just moved it over here. I don't know, it seems a bit intuitive to have it all in one place, you know, instead of having loads of sort of windows all over the place um, scattered everywhere. I mean, I, I like the user interface. I know a lot of people have a trouble with it, but, you know, once you get used to it, it really is It's actually a good system, I think, anyway. I'm biased, of course, aren't I? But uh, there we go. Right, I know. how do I... Oh, yeah, it's this one here to get uh, finished deployment. And then we give our initial orders. Which I'm basically... Let me get this. Let's go to this infantry squad. And we'll tell them to... Uh, let's get them to... Oh, yeah, here we go. So if I select this squad here... Okay, and then I right-click, uh, say, on that farm over there... We can get them to move, um, you know, uh, recon, attack, assault, and attack, um, and do those various things. But I'm just going to get them to move up there. And then it will open up your um, the right-hand panel here, which will uh, show you what's going on. And then you can sort of, uh, where is it, up here? Not command level. There it is there. If you click on that, you can select uh, what, what you want um, to, to be visual. Um, during the battle, so pass, pass and orders. I don't really know what the difference is between pass and orders, but um, I presume it's just some data up here. Um, orders cost. Now that's that's something to do with the command bar and uh, all that sort of stuff, I suppose. Uh, I'm sort of guessing now, but um, that's something we'll get into when we start doing a campaign um, and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, um, that's kind of all I can really show you. If we put the battle on now. So we're away now. The clock's counting down. Um, oh yeah, this is the this will be the detail of the squad itself. So th th this will tell you things like, um, you know, if anyone's injured, how much ammunition they've got, what sort of the state of the morale is, and all that sort of thing. So that's all over here now, as opposed to, to being down here, which is fine. I 
and that's it. That's kind of all I can show you. Um, that's just a brief intro of the, the user interface and what have you. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to starting a campaign, especially with the size of it. I mean, look at the size of this map. Oh, yeah, that was that was one thing I did, right? When I had a battle, say I had a battle going on here, a little contact or something like that, um, there'd be smoke and all sorts going on there. And that this battle would be going on there. And then I'd go over to the map, say, over here. Because we've got enemy coming in from this direction and what have you. But while I was over here, you can hear that battle going on in the distance, and its sound, the sound effects are fantastic. So I'm looking forward to uh, showing showing some of that off um, in a video that I'll make. I'll hopefully, well, I'll get on with it tomorrow when I finish work, and then uh, I'll get it up on YouTube. But for the time being, welcome to Myers Front. Really looking forward to playing this. It's going to be great. I'll speak to you later. Cheers.